Welcome to Daily Devotional number 365. On March the 19th of last year, I decided that we need to put something out on a daily basis for people because Indiana had just shut down a couple days earlier. We weren't going to have services. So it all started with a laptop and a table. The laptop, the table, the angle was bad, but we put the Word of God out there. We started with the Lord's Prayer. And then we moved from the laptop, we put it on a stand. That way we could go to different situations and circumstances in the house and be able to um, record the videos. I want to thank the ministers that have helped us make videos. And of course, a couple of the ladies, Sister Fritchley and Sister Kayla, that has produced some of the videos that we've done over the daily devotionals. And I also want to thank a couple other people that's been a great help to me. The first one was Andrew, my son. Because when this first all started and he watched his dad begin to do this, he took action. He ordered some clips, an iPad clip, clamps, and then he ordered me a phone clip with a better kind of clamp. So we put it on a drum stand. And we transitioned from the laptop to the phone. That way we could go other places and we did some outside. But the problem was the notes. How do you secure your notes? And so the whole point of the daily devotional was to have content, the Word of God. And so I'd print scriptures and I'd put them in a in a um, sheet protector and we taped them to the stand, but that wasn't very good in the wind. The sound quality wasn't that great either. And so Reverend Jacob Tapia, Metro Missionary to Minneapolis, had listened to some of the devotionals, and so he sent me some recommendations. So I got some microphones so the quality of the audio will be better. I also got a tripod with a stand he sent me the links from Amazon, and then we could put my notes on a clipboard so it was more secure. So we could go all different places, and we could, we could do whatever the terrain was. We could level it out, and we could, we could record the devotionals. So we tried to use a lot of variety, different places, but the most important thing we've done was to put the Word of God out there. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with us today. Because it's the Word of God that's going to make a difference. So we hope you share these with others. We hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. Or you like and you follow our Facebook page so you get notifications of every one of our services. And anything that we post online. But the most important thing is to listen to it and take it to heart. Because the Word of God will lighten your life. Oh, speaking of lighting, Andrew also ordered a light. Because sometimes lighting situations weren't that great. And so he ordered a light for us, a portable light, and we were, we were able to be able to make the lighting better. So the angles, the light, the sound, all those kind of things went into the daily devotionals. Usually takes me about eight hours to do a week's worth of devotionals from the time we set up, we record, we upload, we edit the video, whatever we need to do. But we did that because we want you to hear the Word of God. Listen to the Word of God because it's going to lighten your life. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 29. It says, For thou art a lamp, O Lord, and thou art the one that will lighten my path. God, you will lighten the darkness. You know Psalms 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so you might not have all the things that we have, but whatever you have, share the Word of God. Put it out there because the Word of God is powerful. It's quick. It's sharp. It will help the individuals that hear it. And so take it to heart and let the Word of God help you today. God bless you. We've come a long way from foam and tape that hold our phone. But it's still the same Word of God. It might not be as polished, but share it. It might not look that great, but do your best. And let the Word of God sink into your heart and your life. Have a wonderful day.